This is Mr. And what I have for you today is day 29 of my 10 or 12 upgrade journey to see what the progress has been after 29 days. Yeah, pretty. Is it 29 days already? Surely that's not. It can't have been 29 days already. That's that's insane. It doesn't feel like I've been here for 29 days, but I'm just going to quickly double check my stats. So I think it actually might be right because I've already done the 22 day video so yeah okay let's go to the change base change base huh? let's go to the upgrade base and see what we can see okay alrighty then here we go uh, yeah look at all the smattering of walls I've done just quickly gonna have a look at this builder up here have not scroll down to the walls 285 walls I've done 15 wall pieces because I have no choice I have a builder and I'll let's say I want to put the builder on something gold and I've got max elixir I'm going to have to do a couple wall pieces and that is pretty well what has happened so let's just zoom in a little bit and we'll see what's going on here nothing new to report up at the spring trap area now a little bit of news is town hall is now level five a giga tesla in the town hall so that's done CC is going up. I said I was going to report on that last time that I was going to put the clan castle up and it has gone up indeed. Over to the heavy weapon division. <laughs> okay, I have one expo going up ready in seven days and 23 hours, probably eight days on that one. This Tesla is also on the way up ready in three days. This Inferno is ready in five days and 19 hours. So come next. Um, Next update next week, this expo should be done. The Tesla should be done. The Inferno should be done. The Queen will definitely be done. And I'll, well, let's have a look what the Queen's doing. She's level 57, going to level 58. I do have a crown, and I'll probably be upgrading her instantly because I do also need to harvest out of the gold pass reward path a, an elixir rune. So either way, I'm going to be doing the Queen, whether she goes down again, whether I've got enough Dark Elixir by then to put her down again straight away or whatnot. Now let's have a look at the lab just quickly. What am I doing in the lab? Okay, I've got the Loon going up in the lab and I have, I'll, I'll double check what I've got to collect, but I have a Instant Troop spell as well. So we'll have a look at what I've got here. These are pretty cheap. I'm not going to do the siege machines just yet have a look at the all of, well I've already done the did I do that I did think I did the hog and I discovered I have another level to go on the hog I think that's what happened I've got one skelly spell to go and or well one skelly spell down here and my poison spell that's the dark spells all the elixir spells are done most of these troops are done Pekka, Yeti and of course you can see these other elixir troops to go Let's have a look, a quick look at the gold pass. See what I've got to collect. Rune, dark rune, gold rune. I've got some elixir to collect, gold to collect. And as we keep scrolling, clock tower potion, more gold. And okay, nothing else. Nothing else there. Let's have a look at the town hall. Magic items left. A builder. So I can insta, insta upgrade one builder in the clan car, in the lab. So the plan, therefore, is, for example, just for an example only, let's say I've got five days in the lab and I have no idea what I will have available as far as loot goes, but let's say I have enough loot, say for the pecker or giant. Let's just pick the giant. I've got enough loot for the giant. I'll put the giant down. I'll instantly upgrade him, and then only if I have enough loot to then would do a dark troop as well because I clearly won't have enough elixir to do an instant elixir troop unless have a look at my magic items again do I have an elixir rune and the answer is no so it will have to be a dark troop because I've got a dark rune to use and one to collect as well so there we go that is pretty well the where I'm at in the upgrades let's have a quick look at where the builders are doing currently three days for the army camp so he's just going to go straight back on the army camp tesla will go to the tesla queen will go on the queen Lancastle castle will go on whatever 
uh, Inferno will go on Inferno, in Expo will go on Expo. So I've at least got four builders accounted for, taken care of. They're just going to go back on the same things. Expo, Inferno, Tesla and Army Camp will all go straight back onto those things. Queen will go back onto the Queen. If it's double upgrade, it's double upgrade, which leaves me one free clan castle. And that one will most likely go on a storage. Yeah, I think I'll just put that on a storage. Depends how much loot I have. If I've got a spare bit of time, I might start sneaking these little traps in, these spring traps. Otherwise, it'll be a storage. In any, any case, that is the progress that I'm up to on day 29 of being a Town Hall 12. Obviously, all my new weapons are now max Town Hall 11 level and also even going up into, Mac, into Town Hall 12 range already. Queen is going up nicely. She's gone up a whole bunch of levels already. And Max Town Hall, Max Eagle, things are looking pretty good. And a lot more wall pieces done than I'd actually expected to do at this point in time. So if you have any questions or comments about what I'm doing with upgrading Town Hall 12 or what I've got planned, just leave them down below. If you enjoy this sort of thing, want to keep up with the upgrade journey to see how long it's going to take i'm using the gold pass exclusively please subscribe and share it with your clan mates who might also be upgrading their town hall 12 and as always thanks for watching